all of them, I saw some of them. Because there are lots of kids in my class I don't know, and I'm just nervous to meet all of them. Well, I think this school has a central role, really, a very important role, because that's where everyone comes together. So not only do we have to remember that we're first an academic institution and our goals are that the students learn and make academic progress, but in order for them to make that progress, they have to feel confident and cared for. My name is David Levine and I'm the director of the Teaching Empathy Institute. The focus of our work is to help to create emotionally safe learning environments for the children and the people who work with them. And by emotional safety, what we reference is that every child has emotional needs. Belonging, to be connected, to have competence, to feel good, to feel like they have gift they can share with the world. Freedom, which is another way of saying voice, independence, that people not only ask them what they think, but listen to them and respond. And the fourth need is fun, which is translated as to be engaged with learning, to be engaged in healthy relationships. When those four needs are met, that's emotional safety. And, and many of our students come to school feeling isolated and um, underprivileged. They're aware that are, they don't have the same opportunities that some of their classmates have. Um, when they're sitting at their tables, I, I try to go over the concept that, you know, that child might get to the door faster because they're close to it, but that child will eventually get to the door. It just might take them more steps to get to that door. Emotionally, before we can delve into the learning because children will not do their best learning if their needs aren't met. So I also have a policy in my classroom that we will stop whatever whatever is going on if it's important enough you can come over to me and say I really need to talk to you privately and we'll go do that. And we want to support the efforts already ongoing within the schools and the community to embellish the focus on emotional safety. We do so by working directly with the children, by working with all staff members, teachers, lunchroom monitors, teaching assistants, school leadership, parents to create parallel learning experiences all focused on engaging the children in emotional safety so they can learn the pro-social skills that they will need as they move along the trajectory toward adulthood.